Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to show you a really smart trick that you can use with Evernote Search. Now this is great for those of you who keep collecting tons and tons of ideas and over a few months these ideas just build on top of one another, on top of one another, on top of one another and there's no way of being able to connect them together, or so it seems. However, Evernote Search, the legendary Evernote Search, has a new powerful trick that I only recently discovered. Duh! And it is a game changer for me because it means now that just by simply adding a few keywords to a note, I am able to smartly connect these notes together so I can see them all in one place, which is just brilliant. Now before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, please help me by clicking on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me, let me take you into my demo account now and I'm going to show you how you can set up a smart search. Okay, so let's imagine that I am working on a project with a colleague and that colleague has shared that project with me. Now, for argument's sake, we're going to call this project Project Goldeneye and this is the note that has been shared with me. Now, there is a slight problem I've discovered with shared notes is that I can't move this now anywhere. This is only going to be showing up in this area here, which is called Shared With Me. Let's just zoom in a little bit here so you can see that. So this is only Shared With Me. So this is the project. This is all the details of the project are right here. Now, the key to this is that we have right here a word that's unique to this project. This project is called Project Goldeneye. So we're going to use this as a key word. So what I'm going to do is maybe I've been researching this for a few weeks and I've collected a few articles related to Goldeneye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my search field here and you can see I've already been doing this. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on this one here, but you can just type in Goldeneye. So I'm going to call this Goldeneye and that's going to bring up four notes. Now this is searching on the keyword Goldeneye. So we've got Goldeneye the movie that was released in 1995. I've got the history of Goldeneye right here, so that's right there, and I've got that project, the shared project, as you can see from this indicator here, is also coming up in my search, and also, of course, there's going to be books in here related to Goldeneye right there, so Operation Goldeneye, so it tells us oh, everything is there. So what I want to do now is I want to save this search. I'm going to save it right there. I'm going to call this project Goldeneye and I am going to add this search to my saved searches. So I'm going to save there. So, so, sorry, add this search to my shortcuts. I'm going to save it there. Shortcuts. Oh, we've already got this one. So we're going to call this project because I've been testing this. So we're going to go in the project Goldeneye 1. Okay, so we've got that there. So for, the, for this purpose here, this search is now right here. Project Goldeneye 1. Now what I can do is I can edit my search filters. I can go in here and you'll see that I have a number of things that I can change here. I can say I can add a tag so I could locate it in a specific place. It contains now in here it has a lot of things that it can contain. Unfortunately not specifically keyword but we're searching the keyword anyway so that's okay. Task completed, not completed, time, videos, all sorts of things are right here. So we can search by contained when it was created or updated, tags or even located in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this as it is because I don't mind this list here for argument's sake because it's a unique word. We're using key golden eye. So what I want to do now is just to show you how powerful this is. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up my browser. So we're going to open up Safari and I'm going to search uh, Ian Fleming Golden Eye and let's see what we get in the Google, Google research results for that. Uh, and let's just say this is Golden Eye Estate. So let's the Wikipedia article. So let's just get this one just for argument's sake. And this has got all the details related to the Golden Eye and its history. 
and we're going to use the web clipper. So I'm going to clip on the web clipper right there. That's going to load the web clipper and it's saving it to miscellaneous. I haven't actually, I'm going to save this to my inbox. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save a simplified article. So it gives me this one here. I'm going to save the clip. Now, what it will do is view in Evernote. So I'm going to view this in Evernote. This sort of like forces it to open up in Evernote a lot faster than waiting for it to sync. So that's now going to come into my notes right there. So you can see. Now, if I go to my project golden, I remember this is searching on the keyword. You will now see that this article that I've just saved from Wikipedia is now in there. Now, another one that I could do is I could add a new note. So let's just click create a new note and sort of say uh, something like, uh, remember this idea for next week's meeting, which is something that most people will probably do when they're quickly grabbing a note. And so we just clean up that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start typing in here. So what we're going to do is um, uh, organize, organize. <laughs> oh dear, trip to Golden Eye Resort. Okay, so we're going to save that and just hit return there. And so we've got this article here and we've got this article here. So there was a little pause there, but as you can see, that now has picked up the golden eye uh, name in there. So you need to give Evernote a few minutes just to actually do its stuff in the background so that it becomes searchable. But now in my project golden eye, uh, saved search, I have the golden eye note that I just made. So all I have to do is to make sure that that single word golden eye is in there and I'm good to go. Now I know that you can also do this with multiple searches. So I could put golden eye and say comma Ian Fleming and then use that as my search criteria. And as long as those two key words are in the note, I can then save that note and have all my notes linked together. So there you go. That was something I just wanted to share with you because it's just such a powerful way of being able to create notes. Now this is going to get more and more powerful as Evernote continue to throw out updates and to continuously improve it. So this is something that's going to be really exciting for the future. Hopefully you found this episode useful. Hopefully it's given you some ideas. Don't forget if you did get any value from this video then please hit the like button and remember to subscribe if you want all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Evernote. Thank you very much for watching this video and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.